Coco at one, me, me and Mum woke up. Mum's gonna play the piano. I have got Zara parcel that I'm gonna open. <laughs> Welcome to another vlog. I just finished Pilates. Standard Sunday for me. I'll take my sunglasses off. Hang on. I went to Amazon Fresh. And instead of just getting like one thing, I actually got a few things. I thought I would show you what I got. Sorry, this stream was in the way. Is it really annoying? Oh my gosh, you won't believe what happened to me today. Every time I have Pilates on a Sunday or whenever I do it, the night before I always plan my outfit so i can have a maximum sleep and don't have to think about it when i get up and i also put all of my skincare in my handbag so i can put it on after pilates and i did that last night but i forgot my handbag i forgot my handbag so that was really annoying so i was gonna go into one of the beauty shops and basically just say to the people that work there you know i'm really in the market for a cleanser i'm really also in the market for a toner eye cream moisturizer SPF the whole sort of thing but I just thought I can't do that and it's going to annoy me if I go in there and just say kind of SPF because I haven't cleansed my face properly so I've got no skincare on which is really really annoying but I've just had to suck it up and deal with it so that happened and like I said I went to Amazon Fresh so I'm gonna show you what I got but I got some bacon basically I've done a little food shop I think this was all about 20 pounds um so i've got a smoked bacon oh yeah i also went to starbucks and got um a ginger shot which i forgot to have but then i had a matcha latte and i've got to have this first so i think i might just save this till tomorrow because i feel like you're supposed to have these on an empty stomach maybe oh well we'll take that away i also got these crisps which i've seen everywhere I've not tried them yet they're black truffle crisps which is my favorite flavor they're amazing i think it's tours t-o-r-r-e-s which is the more like famous brand of the, the, the do them but this is called simply roasted and because it's a small bag it's only 94 calories so i get those to have one day i also got kombucha which is my favorite like fake bad fizzy drink to have because it's really good for your gut health this one is captain kombucha and it's raspberry flavor i actually always go into amazon fresh and buy this exact one after pilates oh, it's fizzing mm. i saw these haven't tried them before Kinder Bueno eggs. Don't know how I'm going to not eat the whole bag when I open these, but I thought they sounded delicious. I also got myself some watermelon chunks. This is one of my favourite fruits to have, um, but I really only like it fresh. But this one looks pretty fresh. Sometimes when I go other supermarkets, other than Marks and Spencer's, Marks and Spencer's is always the best one. But some other supermarkets I find are a bit... Like you can tell the watermelon's old, whereas this looks more fresh. I also got some organic mixed size free range eggs. These were about nearly three pounds, but I only buy organic and free range eggs at the moment because, well, for the foreseeable future, forever, because they're just the best ones. And I feel terrible about cage tens. So that's just a conscious decision that I've made that directly affects my, affects my bank account. But there we go. I also got some oranges. I love oranges, they're one of my favorite fruits. And I got some cheaper fridge raiders because I do love Aldi, but the Aldi version of these I think are actually really horrible. I don't want to really say why, it's a bit gross, but the quality of the meat is just tastes vile. And I'm sure this isn't the best quality meat for chicken, but they're just better. And then I got two packs of these, which are my favourite bagels, a protein plant-based sliced seeded soft walked and bagels i love these got two packs of these and that is everything that i got i'm now gonna go to my dad's house because he's kindly making a um roast dinner this is the lip liner that i've got at the moment which is spice by mac i went to my friend's house the other day and she had the cork lip liner which i feel like everybody has and i tried it and first i thought this is way too dark because obviously this is a little bit more pinky well it's not pinky it's brown but i just think cork is a very dark brown but I honestly loved it. Um, so I might get cork, which I know everyone loves, but I think when I've got a tan, it's okay. But if you if I haven't got a tan, I just feel like the breath the cork is a bit too dark. But I do still really like it, so I probably will get that. Okay, so we're just in a MS now. We've done quite a bit of shopping already, as you can see. But I forgot to vlog, so Amy's gonna shout on me. But what I'll do is I will do a haul when I get in. Me and Mum and just, uh, oh my lips are dry. 
me and mum are just in M&S, we've just ordered an afternoon tea, which is only £10, because we're doing it a sandwich, yeah. there's a few quid more you get an afternoon tea, it yeah. actually works out well, yeah. it's very nice, we're at the lakeside one, oh, it's very smoky. Mum likes the way you order, because you don't have to talk to anyone, it's just a screen <laughs> like when you go to McDonald's. So good. But I'll show you the afternoon tea when, when it comes. Yeah. I've got high hopes. So I'm just happy there's a scone. <laughs> I'm going to have We could that. get them to box up the sandwiches. If there's, uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem. The cake. Yeah, we could. Yeah, but I think we'll manage. <laughs> Do so we've got this lovely tea selection. It is only small, but that's just what we need. Right, we've fine. got smoked ham and mustard, cheddar cheese plowmans, roast chicken salad, and egg and watercress. Yeah, I love you don't mind. I don't want the egg. I love the egg then. Sorry. No. Other than that, I don't mind. So how many have we got? Four. Yeah, we just got four. So fine. two each. Yeah. What ones do you want then? Um, I would like. I I'll, I'll like. I don't mind, you choose. Because I don't want the egg. Other than that, I don't I mind. The egg. What was the other choice? Chicken, roast chicken salad, cheddar cheese plowman's, and smoked ham and mustard. I need to have the cheese or the ham. I, I thought you'd you want like, the cheese. Because I know you like chicken. Yeah. So we've just had the sandwiches. They were lovely. And the cakes. So we're just on the scones now. How is it? Mm. It's very, very nice. I'm going to absolutely devour this. I really love H&M's cushion covers as well. But again, I just don't know what vibe I'm going for. That's really cute. Oh, fuck no, that's lovely. Ah. Okay, so we just left H&M home. We've just arrived at Ikea. Mum's on a mission. I'm not gonna lie, I am dreading it a bit. Yeah, you could have parked right there. It's fine, we're getting our steps in. But yeah, I don't know what we're going to find. Hopefully something that's a bit more essential than an um, olive oil and balsamic holder. That, that's very essential. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Just checking some things out with Mummy. Mum's found a table for her, but not for me. That is fine. No. Okay, she hasn't got this far before. It's a bit too modern. Oh, dishwasher. Lighting is not great in here. I quite like this jungle set up. It's like Bali. It's very nice. This is somewhat bigger than the bathroom at my house, so, so I don't think I could recreate this. We're at the candle section, but I am just not impressed. That coconut one made me and mum want to throw up. Mum's going to play the piano. That's what they paid for. Yeah. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. ready? Well done. <laughs> How much did that cost your parents? <laughs> well, I hope they think it's worth it. <laughs> It looks nice and pink though. <laughs> all that brings back, that's all I learned. Oh, what, in <laughs> all those lessons? All those piano lessons. She smacked my hands, that lady. My dad, <gasps> Probably because you're not very good. I told my dad, he said, right. That was the end of that. Right. Had she not done that, you could have been a world famous well, pianist. I'm teaching a now into my name, Drew Blood. That's not a... Oh my God. Oh, yeah. When did she, she go to school, Victoria in England? That, that chart, that teacher. Oh dear. Her mama just died. <gasps> oh gosh. Well, she should not be teaching. She put children under the under the uh, desk. Let's go and kick the child. Then I put that in the vlog. Yeah, it happened. It happened. <gasps> That's awful. Right, let's go down. I'm just booking a restaurant for me and Holly to go to for dinner this Friday, which is the 8th of March and International Women's Day. And I think we're going to go here. We wanted to go here for ages. It looks to me more like a Sunday vibe, like Sunday roast, but I think it is kind of known for that. But I mean, look, brunch, that kind of thing. Um, if you can hear mum, she's laughing downstairs because basically one of the clips in this vlog actually that I wasn't able to use when Holly and mum were out shopping and Holly filmed one of them in slow-mo. So obviously I couldn't use it. Um, but I sent it to my mum and she's just laughing her head off her. She thinks it's so hilarious. So yeah, I think we're going to go here. <laughs> I can't stop with mum laughing. Um, right, dinner menu. I'm just looking at the menu because if you didn't know, Holly's allergic to peanuts. So we have to be very careful where we work. Also, she doesn't like anything like 
spicy i mean i don't like spicy food either but she hates sushi or anything like that so basically when we go out to eat food in london we have to either go to italian or like you know classic english dishes she's gonna probably listen to this and be like no i like other stuff now too but she's still pretty fussy salads peanut dressing yep she definitely can't have that pizzas that sounds good this is a dinner menu by the way oh here we go mains i'm sure that says mains that sounds very nice pappardelle oh wait hang on is that another correct menu because that that says february 19th to the 25th of to the 25th so that's not applicable for march then is it so that menu's wrong i might have to call them so enough with the whole looking at uh restaurants i have got zara parcel that i'm going to open for you shortly um but before i do that i just wanted to tell you about this new purchase which i know looks really weird but basically it's an infrared light so i had a massage in fact i've had about two or three massages with this lady who's got an infrared light and i just thought it was like a nice relaxing vibe and she just had this random red light in the room to relax you um for the atmosphere but then i asked her about it and she said no it's actually an infrared and then told me all about infrared therapy um and how it's good for circulation people use it for pain relief um on certain areas of the body it lowers side effects of diabetes boosts your immune system um what else did she say like boost circulation lowers your blood pressure apparently um so it's like detoxification relaxation stuff and i just thought oh my gosh that sounds so good so i got one from amazon this was one was on offer about 50 pound and it comes with this switch so you basically you turn it on and it's got a temperature up to i think nine or ten so far i did last night and the night before first night i slept like a baby afterwards it was so good and last night not so good but i did have nightmares so that's not really the lamp's fault is it <laughs> um but yeah so it goes up to nine i tried seven and i tried eight and then i'm gonna try nine tonight when you turn it on and you and you press start it automatically is on 30 minutes they say 30 minutes a day is about right if you've been on the channel long enough you'll know how much i love the color red um and i really like naturally is homeopathic the right word probably not but i like natural things that are supposed to help you just be hol holistically more healthy that doesn't really make any sense but hopefully you get what i'm trying to say another thing is i got these tights these warford tights i tried on a pair the other day seven pounds and they ripped as soon as i got them on so i thought i'm gonna invest in this warford brand that everyone goes on about and just see if they're actually good my mum raves about them and i've heard loads of other people say it as well i just thought i would give them a go and if they don't rip then it's uh, worth it i guess i didn't get them in nude i got them in black we will see I was so fuming when I put on a seven pound pair of tights and they ripped straight away. I just thought I've had enough, so I'm gonna try these. Also, you'll probably see in the background, I've ordered Simproof. I've got one in the fridge at the moment. I tried this years ago, but they had only the original flavour and it wasn't very nice. So I stopped oh, I tread on my Zara parcel. Um I stopped doing it because I just didn't like the taste and it is very expensive. It is very expensive. But I've reintroduced it daily because I've got the strawberry and raspberry flavour. And I do like that flavour a lot. So we'll see how it goes. I'm basically going to see if I see any improvement with these four bottles. And if I do, then I'll carry on. And if not, obviously, I won't bother. But I'll let you know. Um, it came in this box, but I'm saving it to send the vintage parcel. <laughs> and then, lastly, a new book that I've been reading is this one, Women Who Think Too Much. I think I probably mentioned already how... I sometimes a bit anxious, overthink, um, ruminate, whatever. I can do that. So I'm reading this in the hope that it's going to help me with that. So far, I really like it. As you can see, I've not really read much of it at all. But I've only had it two days. And I like it so far. So I'll keep you up to date on that. But I like reading these kind of books that I feel like are really specific to me. There's a lot of books that I think are meant to be good in the self-help, like Atomic Habits. But... It's very generalised, whereas I thought this is really specific to me. And there's another book over here that I want to read, which my friend said, let me borrow. I haven't started yet. And it's called Scattered Minds by Gabor, I don't know how you say his name, Gabor Mate. He's been on quite a few podcasts. He's been on the Stephen Bartlett podcast, actually, Diary of a CEO. That is bookmarked for me to listen to. But it's all about ADD. Apparently ADD is the same thing as ADHD, which I think is, or it's just a new abbreviated term i don't know but either way obviously that should be really helpful for me so there's a lot going on in this section clearly but i just saw it all and thought i actually want to let you know about that i've just finished this drink which is one of my new favorite drinks it's basically like a healthy version of a cherry pepsi max or a cherry coke the reason i say it's healthy is because it hasn't got rubbish in it so it's literally got carbonated water sour cherry juice 
citric acid yeah it's got preservatives blah 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 but the sweeteners are stevia stevia so it's not actually that bad um and then black carrot juice i mean there's nothing bad in that at all it's got five calories um per 100 mil so that's like 15 and a bit calories i think in the whole can um and like no sugars or anything well one gram of sugar it's just like a much healthier version they did it in holland and barrett and i bought a case of them because i liked it that much i got it from amazon so i just thought i'd tell you about that yeah look no added sugar no aspartame which if you don't know aspartame is like the bad um sweet nothing that is put in a lot of stuff particularly fizzy drinks so that's why obviously i'm making a point i guess of the fact that it's not in there and they're using the sweetener from the stevia plant instead and it genuinely does taste really nice this, this is one of the nicest things much nicer than kombucha but obviously this isn't a kombucha it's like a fizzy drink so it is different but i would recommend these if you're looking for a healthier kind of fizzy drink substitute I'm going to open the Zara parcel now. There's two dresses in here, but they are both the same. I just got them in two different sizes. I did that because I wanted free shipping. <laughs> so we'll see what one is best. I saw somebody online wearing this and thought it looked so nice. You can't really tell it is. I'm going to hold it up. Okay, so this is the back of the dress. So it's got a zip all the way up the back. Um, it goes down to around the bum and then if I turn it over it's not very good actually I think I might actually have to try this on and show you because you can't really see at all what the kind of dress style is supposed to be in fact it also looks like a tiny dress that doesn't, <laughs> wouldn't fit anybody but it's ruched on the sides and it goes all the way to the floor and then it's got a split um, I saw somebody wearing this with boots and it looked so good it's kind of more like an autumn piece I would say but it is still cold at the moment, so even if I don't use this until perhaps later in the year, I still really love it. Um, I've got a small and a medium. I don't really think I'm going to be going for the small, but they didn't have a large, so I went for medium and small rather than medium and large, which is what I'd normally try. But I'm going to try this on and see what I think. Guys, I'm having a bit of an issue because I can't actually do this up on my own. I can't do it up i can't reach and i can't ask anyone and i don't really like buying dresses or clothes so i can't oh but i can't do it by myself because i don't want to have to rely on anyone it actually does kind of fit well it needs to it needs to more than kind of fit doesn't it, it needs to actually fit me completely i've got my hair in a plait um so just just ignore these little bits here the neck would be like this zipped up i think it's nice the only thing is it does actually feel really nice on the whole dress. It feels nice. I like it. I just can't do it up for a start. And also, if I'm, if I'm completely honest, if I'm completely honest, I don't like how tight it is here around my neck. Doing it up, it would be like this. It looks fine, but it is actually quite tight on my neck. I don't like it. So I'm going <laughs> to so I'm gonna have to send it back. Bad news is I've got to actually go to Zara and do the refund because they charge you to they charge you to send it back now, don't they? It is what it is. I actually got a really nice blazer the other day from H&M. I think I showed you. If not, you'll certainly see it at some point. I hadn't used self-service in H&M before, but I used it for the first time the other day for the blazer and forgot to take the security tag off. So I need to go back and get them to do that as well. So this is an excuse to go shopping, I guess. I honestly wouldn't have been able to breathe if I actually did this up. And I definitely require breathing still to stay alive. So yeah, this dress is a no. Okay, the lighting is not great. We're gonna work with it. I got back from the shops and I wanna show you everything that I've got today. Maybe a couple of extra things. So from Primark, I got, we'll start with the non-home things first. I could have got more, like they had the Skims Velvet cheap dressing gowns like deep so that was meant to say <laughs> sorry i'm so tired i don't know if you can tell i'm so tired i fell asleep in the car on the way home and i have a headache but i want to show you guys this and i also want to put it away um i got these um this little like underwear set i got a saw hopefully it's big enough on the bra i think it will um this is a complete dupe for the skims fits everybody range they only had it in this color um in the i went to the lakeside primark um the stock was really disappointing normally like we go like and it's got so much good stuff but it wasn't that good um but yeah this is is that a mark 
Oh, that's annoying. And um, this is just like a, yeah, this is just kind of skim shoot. The only difference is it doesn't have like a, uh, a hook at the back. You just put it over your head, but I got that. That was five pounds. Um, I then got these pajama bottoms, which I need to try on. I sized up and got a small. Um, I just thought these were cute. I could wear these like as pajama bottoms, also lounging. These were expensive though. These were twelve pounds, which I think is a lot for Primark, to be honest. And then the only other non like thing that I got today was these socks. Um, these crew socks. I just thought were like the perfect shades. So these were three pounds each for a pack of five, which I don't think is that bad. Um, but yeah, I just because I like to have my socks at, like over my leggings, um, and also that over, like when I'm wearing train, I like to have my socks over my leggings. Um, when I'm wearing like so uh, trainers, Ugg boots. So yeah, got those. Oh, and then the only other things I got like I got toothpaste. I got about ten foot packs. So I've been needing to do a foot, foot sheet mask. Those of you who don't know, I do like one a week at least. And I haven't had any this whole week and I've wanted to do one. So I got about 10 of these. And to be that was it for the non homeware stuff. And again, with the homeware stuff, I didn't get that much. I was a bit, mm, um, but it's fine. It's not like I'm in a rush. So from ProCook, <laughs> I was meant to just be getting essentials today, guys. So from ProCook, I got this. Actually, this is a better. So you put your balsamic in olive oil there really like that i've got a little funnel to pour it in i don't know if you just had mum but sorry um me and my partner we love bread with olive oil and balsamic so i just got this and i was like i have to it's cute um and then got six of these wine glasses which are two pound fifty each from ikea they're called the i'm gonna hold on the box i don't know how to say this it's like the smallest Ikea shop ever, but that's the name of them. Because, yeah, obviously I'm going to do, well, not, not obvious, but I am going to be like going back to Ikea with my partner and like actually getting big furniture pieces. I, I say that, we're not getting any furniture from Ikea. Um, nothing wrong with Ikea, but we're just not. Um, I wish they had stuff that I wanted. There was a dining table that I did like, but... I don't know, we're going to an antiques fair in April, a really big one near us, and I'm hoping that that's going to like come through on the furniture, because we're buying a period property. Um, I want kind of like more antique, like original pieces when it comes to furniture. But one thing I will be getting from Ikea will be the Ikea Pax wardrobes, and we will be building that and making it bespoke, and then we're going to make it look integrated and do like some panelling ourselves. That's the plan anyway. So yeah. Ikea was more like inspo. Um, so I just got that from Ikea. And the only other things I got from there, I think my mum got a couple candles. And then I just got these utensils. I'm not really utensils. I've got a utensil set from TikTok shop. I don't know if I've shown you guys it, but it's really good. I just got a can opener, scissors, and a masher because my utensil set didn't come with mashers. I've never used a mash like before. My mum said it's a good one, so hopefully it is. And then from m and I don't know if I showed you this, and I don't have it here, I have it at my boyfriend's, which is annoying. Um, if this goes up, m and got a really big sale on it at the minute. So we got a 12 piece dinner set that's like bone china for 40 pounds, and it's a complete white company dupe. We actually got two of them, because I was like, I don't think four plates is enough. So it actually wasn't that cheap, it was 80 pounds, but hey ho. I don't know why every dinner set is only 12 pieces, it's not enough um but yeah and it's called the florence set so i think it's out of stock online but go into your local mns because i went to my local one and obviously got it and then also i was at the lexa one today and they had them as well so yeah and then i just got this piece of cutter because my mum was like you need a piece of cutter i was like great cool um and then Back to Primark, I just got these microfiber cloths because I thought they'd be handy and they're aesthetically pleasing for £1.50. And then this, I thought was the best purchase. I don't know if I'm going to keep it though. This was £10 from Ikea. I just thought it looked really expensive. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's obviously just decorative. Um, I just really liked it. I thought, oh, I can always take it back if I regret it. But the minute I'd regret not getting it, so it's coming home with me. What else? 
I think that's it. I think that is it, everyone. Not, like I said, not a load of stuff. Um, I got these yesterday from HomeSense napkins. They had loads of stuff. I really liked this brand, which is called The Farmhouse, and then also the Ralph Lauren home stuff. Um, and then, I don't know if I have any. Oh, I also got some vacuum pack bags for storing away, like, bedding, because, like, I have a double bed um, and duvet and, like, pillows and stuff, but I'm going to vacuum pack it because we're going to be getting a king-size bed. He already has one, but we're going to be getting one that I've chosen that's nicer. Um... But I will keep my double bed in because, like, we're going to have a guest bed and that will have double bedding on it. This is the utensil set I got from TikTok Shop. It's a complete dupe for, like, the utensils I really liked from HomeSense. Sorry about that noise. I'm not going to get it out, but it's really good. I think the wood's just slightly lighter, but I don't really give a shit because although it's in this pot, I'm going to put it in a drawer. I don't want it out on the side. So, yeah. And that was like £10. So that's everything that I've been buying recently. Not loads. I feel like I still have so much more to get. I feel like you take one thing off the list and like another 10 things get added on. It's quite overwhelming. But yeah, I'm going to put all this stuff away now. Hope you enjoyed my little haul. Hope you don't mind that the vlogging today was very sporadic. 